Hey guys, Supersonic here. First off, thanks so much for 50 subscribers. It means a lot to me, you know. And it, uh, I want to thank the viewers who are already subscribed. And I want to advise those viewers who haven't subscribed to please subscribe and watch the complete series. In case you don't know what I'm about to teach in this series, I'll be teaching you how to code in web VR or uh, code 3D web pages with simulations and all that stuff. So today I'm going to take you through part one of the making of the solar system in WebVR. Now, contrary to your beliefs about these uh, rotating balls you see here, it's the solar system 1.0. The code is extremely easy to understand and that is if you watch part one of the series. If you haven't, go check it out right now on my channel. Okay guys, as you can see here, this is the code. Well, it's pretty easy to understand. Now, you have the head with the 1.0.4 version. You have the AC with the background color black. Well, because of space. Now, you have the camera with the position. You, get, you have to add entities in this. Now, entity is something completely different. Entity is not an object because an object is uh, very common. An entity is like a group of objects. Like, for example, I am in an electronic store. I have uh, phones, washing machines, laptops. You know it, you know. So, phone is an entity. But a Realme phone is an object. So there's the difference. Now you have the entity camera with a position of uh, 0x, 0y, and 15z. This is 3D, remember. Now you, you open and close the camera tag wheel because it's a camera. You have already added the position to the entity. You don't need to add it to the camera. Then you start with the sun. Now so you saw those rotating balls there. The sun is just a sphere with the radius 2 well because it's the biggest and it has the color yellow. Now, but that's just the sun. Now, what happens to the rest of the planets? Mercury is in again another entity with the position and rotation. Now, why the entity with the position and rotation? Well, you will see because the animation has to have properties. The animation, you saw them rotating, right? So, this animation is a property of rotation and it goes throughout 360 degrees in the y axis. It has an easing of linear. That means it, it slowly eases out into its, uh, it, it's like a spiral, you know, it doesn't, uh, an, an outward growing spiral. It doesn't, it doesn't directly start in its own line. We'll work on that in the 2.0. And it, it, through, it loops and its duration is 20,000 milliseconds or 20 seconds. Now, this, and then the A sphere is there. The A sphere has the position with this and the radius which is 0.2 and the color which is gray now for the rest of them now similarly for venus as i have shown you everything remains the same the animation remains the same the, so does the rotation and the e and the easing and it, uh, it does loop but your duration increases by five seconds and your sphere position increases by 2 in the x-axis and your radius of course variates according to the size of the planet in real life now the color can be different now um this is venus so it is lavender blush earth is of course blue mars is red jupiter is orange saturn is white and uranus is cyan now why uh, am i putting these colors well because this is 1.0 in 2.0 we'll actually be adding texture so i can even add a red colored earth it wouldn't matter and then finally as you can see here uh, uranus has the cyan and neptune has the steel blue you close the entire scene then you have you close the body and you close the html and finally you have this and yes uh, this is it this is literally it now you notice this that they are actually rotating on the same orbit and this is why that easing was linear you slowly, uh, if you were patient enough, and if I had the time, I would notice that slowly Venus goes into its own path, then Mer this Mercury goes into its own path, then Earth goes into its own path, so on and so forth. But then by the time each one of them ends up going their own path, it's too late and the loop gets repeated. Now, there are so many things that I can fix in the 2.0, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, the same thing that uh, Portfolio Man in episode 1 said. If you liked it, like the video. If you disliked it, turn your device upside down and then hit the dislike button. And if you really liked it, subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody, and bye.